x power 4 minus 6x cube minus 26x square plus 138x minus 35 is equal to 0. So this is a biquadratic equation. We all know how to do a quadratic equation, but it is a biquadratic equation. Good morning everyone, my name is Lokesh. Let us join me in solving this question. Yeah. Yes, for this type of question, two roots are given. See here, two roots are given. For this type of question, two roots are given. Yeah. Here, two roots are 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. It is given as 2 plus r minus root 3 means 2 plus root 3 is one root. 2 minus root 3 is another root. 2 plus root 3 is one root. 2 minus root 3 is one another root. Okay. Now, see here. Let us take one root as alpha, other root as beta. Let alpha is equal to 2 plus root 3 and beta equal to 2 minus root 3. Alpha is equal to 2 plus root 3, beta is equal to 2 minus root 3. Okay, 2 minus root 3. Now, if two roots are given, how can you form a quadratic equation? That's my question. If two roots, if two roots say alpha and beta are given, if two roots alpha and given beta are given, then how can you form a quadratic equation? How can you form a how can you form a quadratic equation? So simple. It is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta is equal to 0. x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. Now we will form that quadratic equation. That will be x square minus alpha is 2 plus root 3 plus beta is 2 minus root 3 into x plus alpha is 2 plus root 3 into beta is 2 minus root 3 is equal to 0. Now minus root 3 and plus root 3 are cancelled. 2 plus 2 will give 4. It will become x square minus 4x plus it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square. So 2 square minus root 3 whole square is equal to 0. Square and root get cancelled. Now the equation will be x square minus 4x plus 2 square is 4 minus 3 is equal to 0 and the equation will become like x square minus 4x plus 4 minus 3 is 1 equal to 0. Now take this quadratic equation as divisor x square minus 4x plus 1 x square minus 4x plus 1 right x square minus 4x plus 1. And now take this question equation as divisor, I mean dividend, yeah, dividend. It is divisor, take this as dividend, x power 4 minus 6, 6x cube, x power 4 minus 6x cube minus 26x square minus 26x square plus 138x minus 35 plus 138x minus 35. Now we have to divide this polynomial given polynomial by the obtained quadratic equation very simple here the term is x square here x power 4 now imagine that with what number should be should x square be multiplied to get x power 4 we have to just check x square into x x cube x square into x square x power 4 so it should be x square now multiply this entire term now multiply this entire term with this x square with this x square okay with this x square now what it will become x square into x square x power 4 x square into x square x power 4 minus minus 4 in minus 4 x into x square x into x square will become x cube minus 4 now it will become minus 4 x cube similarly 1 into x square will become 1 x square okay the first and foremost condition you have to make sure is the first term the first both term should be same okay like that you have to multiply the number okay x square and x square will become x power 4 okay now subtraction addition subtraction x power 4 minus x power 4 will get cancelled minus 6 plus 4 it will become minus 2 x cube minus 26 minus 1 minus 27 minus 27 x square minus 27 x square and 
take this to the bottom 138x now see here here the number is minus 2x cube here x square is there so with what number x square should be multiplied to get x cube okay x square ni then to multiply cheste manaki x cube ostundi x to ne kada because x square into x is x cube so i'll write as x but here the coefficient is minus 2 so i'll write minus 2 now i'll check x square into minus 2x minus 2x cube both are same both are same yeah very good now minus 4 into minus 2x plus 8x square like that plus 1 into minus 2x it will be minus 2x okay now now okay now this subtraction plus will become minus minus will be plus plus minus plus minus 2x cube plus 2 cancel minus 27 minus 8 minus 35 x square plus 138 plus 2 plus 140 x plus 140 x and yeah drop this to the bottom it will become minus 35 minus 35 here minus 35 x square is there here the, the degree of the polynomial is x square here also x square therefore no need to multiply with another x or x square okay you just have to multiply with the constant here x square is there here minus 35 x square is there so what we have to multiply with the minus 35 okay minus 35 now check x square into minus 35 it is minus 35 x square minus 4 x into minus 35 plus 35 force 140 x plus 1 into minus 35 minus 35 now both all the terms are same so the remainder will be 0 or simply use the fraction plus minus plus minus 35 plus 35 cancel plus 140 minus 140 cancel minus 35 plus 35 cancel the remainder is 0 so now it is the quotient now find the factors for this quadratic equation find factors for q of x is equal to x square minus 2x minus x square minus 2x minus 35 x square minus 2x minus 35 what we have to do we have to check product of first and last terms and it will be minus 35 right factors uh, by default here we have to get 2 right uh, just take 5 7 z right and here the symbol is minus 2 so obviously the larger number should have negative sign and check 5 minus 7 is minus 2 5 into minus 7 is minus 35 now both are satisfied okay like that so x square plus 5x minus 7x minus 35 after writing this step we have to check 5 minus 7 is minus 2 okay 5 into minus 7 is minus 35 okay now x into x plus 5 minus 7 into x plus 5 is equal to 0 now take these terms x minus 7 into x plus 5 is equal to 0 that means x is equal to 7 x is equal to minus 5 x is equal to 7 x is equal to minus 5 so these are two roots and other two roots are given what in the question itself they are given one is 2 plus root 3 uh, one more is 2 minus root 3 yeah one is 2 plus root 3 one more is 2 minus root 3 now this the two roots so total four roots are four roots are one is 2 plus root 3 2 minus root 3 and one is 7 and one more is minus 5 so this is how we will solve by quadratic equation okay i am repeating i'm repeating once again from the given two roots okay from the given two roots 2 plus root 3 2 minus root 3 obtain a quadratic equation how will you obtain a quadratic equation from the given two roots there is a direct formula you can either do by this process x minus alpha into x minus beta or by this uh, equation x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to zero okay it is up to you you can do any procedure and after obtaining equation make that the equation is divisor and divide this big polynomial and divide this by quadratic polynomial and you must get the remainder 0 and you will get a quotient to q of x as a quadratic equation and find the zeros of those quadratic equation by splitting middle term okay